The Massimo Rad G is a handheld fingertip pulse oximeter that enables non-invasive spot checking of functional oxygen saturation of arterial haemoglobin, SpO2, pulse rate, PR, and respiratory rate, RR. In the Rad G box, you will find the Rad G device, one Rad G sensor, one charging cable, plug adapters, a quick reference guide that walks you through the basic operations and setup of the device. The Rad G controls are comprised of a color touchscreen interface, an on off button, and main menu, home, and backward navigation buttons. Power on the Rad G device by pressing the on off button. Ensure that the Rad G is fully charged. To charge Rad G, use the power cord and plug assembly insert included in the box. Insert the tip of the appropriate plug assembly insert into the power supply at a 30 to 60 degree angle. Plug the AC power supply cord into the bottom of the Rad G device. Verify the plug orientation is correct during connection. Plug the other end of the power supply cord into an AC power source. To perform a measurement, connect the Rad G sensor to the device by inserting the cable into the top of the device and closing the latch. Select an appropriate site for sensor placement. The preferred site is determined by weight range. For infants 3 to 10 kilograms, the thumb or great toe are the preferred sites for sensor placement. For paediatric patients, 10 to 50 kilograms, the ring or middle finger are the preferred sites for sensor placement. For adults greater than 30 kilograms, the preferred site is the fifth digit or pinky of the non-dominant hand. However, other digits can be used. To apply the sensor, Orient the cable away from the sensor side, making sure that the finger outline is facing upwards. Open the sensor by pressing on the sensor indentations. The fleshiest part of the digit should cover the detector window. The tip of the finger thumb or toe, not the nail, should touch the digit stop at the back of the pad. The sensor should be open enough to evenly distribute the grip pressure of the sensor along the length of the finger. This concludes the training for the Rad G Pulse Oximeter. For more information, please refer to the Rad G Operator's Manual.